water is essential for life, and central to all economic activities. But Asia is running out of the clean freshwater people need to survive, and its economies to thrive. Asia's population and economic activities are rapidly increasing. In the 20 years since the year 2000, Asia's population grew by almost 900 million people, and it now totals 4.6 billion, while Asian cities are home to 54% of the world's urban population. More people, and their growing industries, require more water and generate more wastewater. Water is a such a pressing issue that ensuring access to water and sanitation wall is one of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, and the ability of clean water affects the realization of most of the SDGs. To contribute solutions to this pressing water crisis in Asia, the United Nations University Institute for the Advanced Study of Sustainability, in Tokyo, Japan, launched the Water for Sustainable Development project. Water for Sustainable Development, or WSD, was launched to develop a tool to provide the economic value of water and call for recognition that is worth investing in water. This is a four-year project started in April 2018 with support from Ministry of Environment Japan. Our aim is to support informed decision making on the water and help local decision makers design economic and environment policies that improve the access to the quality water without compromising economic growth. Our project has case studies in four locations, the Bali province in Indonesia, the Kaski district in Nepal, Vishakhapatnam city in India, and the Rayon province in Thailand. And we chose those locations because their industries are rapidly growing and their production activities rely heavily on water. Pokhara in the Karski district in Nepal exemplifies water issues faced by many rapidly growing cities across the Asian continent. In Pokhara, clean water for people's use and consumption is becoming scarce. The cities are increasingly larger, urban population requires more and more water. So the quality of water is decreasing day by day because of the issues from this and places and the other in urbanization and industrialization. जको जुन कम पपुलेशन को लागि गरिएको वितरण प्रणाली नै अहिले के छ भने त्यही वितरण प्रणालीबाट धेरै पपुलेशन भइरहँदा पनि वितरण गरिरहँदा खेरि त्यसले गर्दा खेरि जुन शुद्ध पानी जनमानसमा पुगेको छैन The larger urban population also creates more wastewater Many people rely on water from wells which often have long queues People has to invest lots of money in the water and they have to like um, spend the time on the water. So it has direct impact on socio-economic aspect as well. The lack of information and a monitoring system on water use and pollution at the regional level make it difficult for policy makers to figure out the solutions to their water problems. They are often at a loss as to how to pursue a sustainable path to economic growth that ensures availability of clean water for the people and the different economic sectors. A key stumbling block in developing effective water policies is that developing countries often lack good monitoring systems to calculate how much water is being used and how the water resources are being stressed due to excessive water withdrawal and deteriorating water quality. So there is no way to it directly not to estimate it. So they also don't know the amount of water used and pollution loads discharge the different economic sectors, making it difficult to deal with current problems and plans for the future. The WSD project bridges this gap of vital water information in its four case study locations. We partner with local universities in those locations and collect large amount of data related to the water, climate, land use, economy, and local policies and regulations. And then, using this data, we develop a framework called 
input-output table, or simply I.O., which is an economic method to analyze how the production activities in one industrial sector induces or discourages the production in other sectors. We can estimate the water used and discharged by individual sectors of the economy. This information is extremely valuable when fixing current water issues like lack of water or poor water quality, as well as for planning for the future. The insights possible with these methods go beyond understanding how much water is directly used and by whom. The novelty of our research is to add water information, water component here, to observe how water flows in the economy and where direct and indirect water use and pollutions are happening along with these economic activities. And this is very important because if you look only at the specific sectors that is consuming or polluting water, you will lose the bigger picture of the economy and of whether they are the real initiator of the pollution or if they are driven to do so by the demand in other sectors. Calculating direct use of water is straightforward, but the hidden consumption and pollution induced in the chain of production are too often overlooked and hard to estimate. For example, let's consider a rice production. The agriculture sector directly uses a lot of water to grow rice and other water intensive crops. The rice produced is then sold to the food industry to create processed food products. While the food industry uses water directly only its manufacturing processes, it also uses indirectly the irrigation water that grew the rice used to produce its processed food products. The Indonesian island of Bali exemplifies the disagreements that often exist between economic sectors on how to use water resources and dispose of wastewater. The island has been traditionally an agricultural society. But in the last few decades, the tourism sector has become the main driver of the economy and is constantly expanding. Tourism in Bali make the sorted of the water resources. Bali is the small island, have a lot of uh, limited resources. Hotel need a lot of waters. Bali have a lot of agriculture also. Agriculture need also a lot of waters. Nah, belum lagi kalau misalnya pada saat bombing pariwisata, konsumsi uh, untuk air pari, apa untuk pemenuhan sektor uh, pariwisata lebih diprioritaskan dibandingkan dengan sektor pertanian. Kenapa? Jawabannya sederhana. Karena sektor pertanian memberikan kontribusi yang lebih besar dibandingkan dengan sektor pertanian. Masalah yang juga uh, terjadi di sektor pertanian adalah akibat perkembangan pariwisata menjadikan juga banyak lahan pertanian yang terkonversi menjadi area fasilitas uh, pariwisata apakah hotel, villa, uh, dan sejenisnya termasuk restoran dan juga berkembangnya pemukiman di tengah-tengah sawah. Begitu ada pemukiman, yang ada di tengah sawah ataupun di dekat saluran irigasi sawah menjadikan limbah domestik, limbah padat yang dihasilkan rumah tangga otomatis menjadikan badan air yang ada di persawahan sebagai tempat pembuangan dan ini sangat menjadikan kualitas air menjadi sangat uh, buruk menjadikan kualitas uh, kuantitas produksi yang di, apa, diperoleh juga menjadi turun kita tidak ingin nanti dari pihak hotel uh, membuang limbah membuang limbah, mohon maaf ya, limbah laundry dan lain sebagainya itu yang ada masih kandungan deterjennya langsung dibuang ke sungai. Karena itu kalau itu terjadi disayangkan air kami tercemar. Air kami sangat tercemar. Harus ada kebijakan pemerintah menyelamatkan air di Bali. Yang penting bagi kehidupan masyarakat Bali, penting bagi kebudayaan Bali. Using the water input output tables, policy makers and, and water planners can clearly understand the amount of water directly and indirectly used by the different sectors of the economy. Also, how much wastewater is being generated directly and indirectly. In relation to pollution, our research results indicate that in 2007, the Bali economy produced about 247 thousand tons of organic load 
which is expressed as BOD. Similarly, we estimated 30,000 tons of BOD from the Kaski District's economic activity in 2011. The livestock and the poultry sector are the main water polluters in both economies. Moreover, the prominent tourism sector in both study area was closely linked to the major polluting sector, and therefore it plays a major role in discharging pollutants from other sectors indirectly. Therefore, aside from focusing on pollution control practices within the premises of hotel and restaurant, our policies should also prioritize the management of supply side. Major attention should be paid to the livestock sector where proper handling and the treatment of the waste are not common. Every time we complete the analysis, we hold workshops, dialogue with local stakeholders so that they are informed of our research and so that these outcomes can be utilized to advocate their policies. Water has a value. It could be a positive one if recognized and used correctly, or a negative one if the damage arrives within the planet. Because people tend to rely on their own past practice in water management, scientific knowledge is crucial to drive people changes in the society towards a sustainable future. The United Nations University Institute for the Advanced Study of Sustainability is a think tank of the United Nations. We contribute to the creation of a more sustainable future for people and our planet.